Hi everyone, it's Cathy again. Really pleased to be doing another assembly. Now later on today, I need to go out, but it's raining. It's raining really, really hard and I don't want to get wet. So what should I do if I'm going to go outside and I don't want to get wet? I need to do something, don't I? And I think I'm going to use an umbrella. I'm going to take my umbrella and I'm going to put it up and I'm going to try and keep dry. Now, what if I'm hungry? If I'm really, really hungry, what do I need to do if I'm really hungry? I need to make myself something to eat, don't I? Maybe a sandwich or a cake or something. What do we do if we're hurt? We might need to do something to help us feel better. We might ask someone to help us and we might need a bandage to put round us to help us to feel better. We need to do something. What if something's broken and I want it mended? What do I need to do then? Well, I might try very carefully to mend it myself. I've got some tools and I might try and mend it. And all these things, if I want something, I need to do something to make that happen. I need to use my umbrella to keep dry and I need to make myself some food if I'm hungry. And I need to mend something if it's broken or dry. And it's the same with God. If we want to be friends with God, then what do we need to do to be friends with God? Well, there's two really easy and great things that we can do to be friends with God. The first thing is to read the Bible, to know about him. Now, you might have at home a book of children's Bible stories, or you might have a Bible. And if we read all the wonderful things God has done, but especially maybe read about Jesus and the things he did and the things he said, that is a great way so that we can become friends with God. And the second thing that we can do that's even easier than that is that we can talk to him. God is with us in our hearts and we can say our prayers and we can talk to him. And it's a way, a very easy thing that we can do to become friends with God. So if we end with some prayers now, we've been learning to pray using our hand, haven't we? And do you remember the thumb is the people closest to us, so our family and friends. This first finger is for our schools for our teachers and our helpers. The third finger is for the world, the wonders of creation, and all our world leaders and the people that, that make decisions and help look after us. And this finger, this was for people who are poorly or who are sad, and we wanna pray and ask God for help. So we're on to the last finger, the little finger. And it's last but not least, because this is the prayer that we say about ourselves. If there's something that we're worried about, something that we want help with, or something that we want to thank God for, then we can pray for ourselves. So let's just put our hands together now and pray to God. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are always with us. Thank you that it's so easy for us to be your friend. Help us to, to learn a little more about you by reading the Bible and by saying our prayers and talking to you. And please, Lord, just be with every single one of us now and all our family and friends. Amen. And when we say amen at the end of the prayer, it, it's, it's a nice way of saying yes, please, or I really want that to happen. So it's lovely doing this assembly, and I'll see you next time. Bye.